Hey guys, it's Craig Lynch, Derm PA here. We've got an interesting condition that we haven't actually done a video on this one yet. And this is dissecting cellulitis of the scalp. It's a chronic inflammatory condition where you'll get these pockets and they fill with kind of pus and, and fluid. Um, and when they get big enough and really full, you'll stop growing hair. So it can cause like chronic scar tissue of the scalp. When they get this big, we usually do some numbing here and uh, that numbing so we can do a little cut and we'll drain out the fluid. And you'll see there's usually quite a bit of fluid in here. Um, using topical antibiotic washes and oral antibiotics intermittently is a treatment for this and even sometimes Accutane as well. So, you know, it's a chronic condition. We don't cure it, we control it. And, you know, it, it can really flare sometimes, especially with stress or in, in, in the summertime as well. So we're gonna do a little procedure here today. I'm just gonna numb them up here first. I've already wiped them down. It's okay if you wanna yell if it stings a little. <laughs> I take out the volume, so I, when I edit. <laughs> this is gonna be a little pinch here, okay, sorry. <laughs> pressure you shouldn't feel any sting if you do let me know okay not bad good 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 perfect now there'll end up being a decent amount of fluid in here that we're gonna push out and you can imagine if you have this all over the scalp it's definitely not fun painful It's already flat and you can see and like I said there's little pockets kind of around here and this is associated with acne congloblata and hydrogenitis superativa which are these chronic inflammatory conditions that cause pockets under the skin that's good is that hurting at all or no you're pretty good with the pressure yeah that's good the bottom of that pocket can sometimes be pretty tender it's looking good. There's a little bit more coming out there. So I come from every angle once we start just getting a little bit of blood. is empty so what we'll do and we can even see here you'll, you'll get a little bit of thickening of that discharge too no cyst wall just kind of areas that are just kind of clumpy just like that very good we'll put a little pressure bandage on there for him and that'll kind of hold that in so it doesn't refill for him you can see it's indented now that was a deep pocket that was all the way out there. So that looks great. He's gonna feel much better. Antibiotics will dry up some of these other little small ones that he has. You can see they're forming down here quite a few. We've drained some of these in the past. They were as big as that one. Now it's just kind of some soft skin, not tender right now, but we always follow up and keep an eye on that for him. Okay, that's good.